Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you use Discord, you may be uh, posting images on your Discord server and these images are stored, believe it or not, on the server of Discord itself and also they are stored on your computer. Now if these images are unsafe and the images that you've uh, not asked for, you may want to remove these images. So let me show you where they're stored. They're on the computer, you go to Windows, user, then go to your user account. Inside here, you want to go to app data. Now, if you see a little translucent folder called app data here, if you don't see that, then you need to show hidden files, folders and drives So go to view options and then view again. And you can see here, show hidden files, folders and drives. Once you've got that enabled, you can click on the app data folder and then you'll see roaming and go into there. Now you'll see Discord, enter the Discord folder and then you should see a folder called cache. Now, unfortunately, these are encrypted files and you won't be able to view these files unless you view them in a terminal or you can use a useful little program which someone has created uh, to view all of these images. Now you may wonder what is in these images. Now, anyone that posts content inside of uh, your Discord or their profile picture will all be stored inside here. Now some Discord servers are pretty relaxed at what people post but on our server it's pretty strict so you haven't got nothing to worry about but on some servers people post all sorts of stuff and this will be stored on your computer which is not good. So download either the Windows or the uh, Mac version and install it and then you'll be able to see what these images are and you can delete all these images from your computer so open up the actual application and install it and uh, this will then show you all the images that are stored so let's open this program up there we go and you may see failed to access dump file but that's okay we can scan for the cache now and there we go and it's now copying these files to the to the dump so we can see what these images are. It will decrypt these images and these are what you're going to see. Now you could have tons of images stored on your computer and it could be people posting uh, images that you don't want on your PC. So unless you run a very strict server, be very, very careful of what people are posting. Now you can see here this made by Jamie Pine and uh, he does have a Twitter account on here. You can also donate to him and he does have a Twitch uh, stream there if you want to go and watch him uh, on his Twitch feed. Now also it does have settings in here which allows you to make various different settings, uh, the dump directory and also you can see here the application cache folder and you can also add in Google Chrome in here, add Discord, another Discord cannery and also uh, add some Slack on there as well. So it just depends on what you want to do here. I've left this as default and we're going to go back to the location here where we can now purge the dump folder. This is the dump folder that uh, Cache Monkey creates. We also got to purge cache. This is going to basically wipe all of the cache from your Discord uh, folder on your computer. And we've also got purge cache and the dump file. Now the dump file is obviously uh, what is Cache Monkeys folder which it creates to copy them over so you can view the images. It will delete all those as well. So I'm going to purge cache and dump and it will clean all of that image out of the uh, cache folder and also the uh, Cache Monkey folder. Now also another thing is you can delete single files. If you want to delete single files you can do that as well with Cache Monkey. I'm also going to show you here a scan for cache and there's none available. And again, what I would advise you to do is not go to certain Discord servers that allow just free reign for people to post any type of content on their Discord server. They should have some sort of rule system in place which uh, stops people from pro posting inappropriate content on there. Now, if we go to the Discord and the cache folder here, you should see it's all been now removed. Now, if you're joining our Discord server, you'll probably notice when you join, there's going to be a rules page, and that's what you're going to be uh, seeing as soon as you join the server. And that means you read all the rules and uh, you will have to agree to these. Now, this will pretty much cover all the bases to keep you safe on the server and stop people from being nasty on this server. We run a strict free rule strike system, which means you'll get a warning a kick and a ban and in extreme circumstances or situations you will be banned instantly. You just have to type 
um, exclamation mark agree all in one and it will allow you onto the server you will have to be 18 plus and that is to protect you and to protect people on the server and to protect myself now i do know there is some people that follow me that are under the age of 18 and they probably want to come into the server but personally i just think they're just a little bit too young to be hanging around in an adult server and also i can't be there to monitor them 24 7 which for their own protection i've made the server 18 plus and that's pretty much how it's going to stay i think that's going to be about it for this video i'll leave the link for cash monkey in the video description and uh, check it out it's a pretty awesome bit of kit it means you'll be able to view images and also delete certain types of images or delete all it's entirely up to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one helps you out if you want to drop onto our discord server then obviously i'll leave the link in the video description for that also when agreeing to the terms all you need to do is type exclamation mark agree just as you can see on the screen there. Anyway, that's going to be about it. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.